Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a man named Ethan. Ethan was known throughout the village as a skilled blacksmith, crafting tools and weapons with unmatched precision. He had a humble abode and a cozy workshop, where he toiled day and night, amassing wealth and treasures. Ethan's pursuit of riches was relentless. He believed that with enough money, he could buy all the comforts and happiness life had to offer. He spent his days haggling with merchants, striking deals, and expanding his wealth. His friends and neighbors admired his success, but they noticed that his smile had faded over the years. One fateful day, as Ethan was working on his latest masterpiece in his workshop, an old traveler entered the village. This traveler was unlike any other. He radiated an aura of tranquility and wisdom. Curiosity peaked. The villagers gathered around him, eager to hear his stories. In a gentle and captivating voice, the traveler began to tell a tale of a mythical garden hidden deep within the heart of the forest. Legend had it that this garden held the key to true happiness. Its blossoms exuded an otherworldly fragrance that could instantly fill the heart with joy. However, there was a catch, the garden's location remained a mystery, known only to those who had unlocked the secret of contentment. Ethan scoffed at the traveler's tale, dismissing it as mere fantasy. He believed that his amassed wealth was proof that happiness could indeed be bought. The traveler, sensing Ethan's skepticism, looked him in the eyes and said, If you truly believe that money can buy happiness, then you should be able to find and purchase this garden. Shouldn't you? Quote. Ethan's pride was stung by the traveler's challenge. Fueled by a mix of arrogance and determination, he accepted the challenge. He declared that he would find the mythical garden and prove once and for all that money could buy. Happiness. Equipped with his fortune, Ethan embarked on an expedition into the heart of the forest days turned into weeks and weeks into months. As he tirelessly searched for the elusive garden, he encountered numerous obstacles and dangers but was undeterred. Driven by his unshakable belief in the power of money, one day, exhausted and disheartened, Ethan stumbled upon a small clearing in the forest. In the center of the clearing stood a single radiant flower, its petals glowed with a mesmerizing light. As he gazed upon the flower, Ethan felt an overwhelming sense of peace wash over him. He realized that he had found the mythical garden, not in a grand expanse, but in a humble blossom. Kneeling beside the flower, Ethan plucked it gently, his heart brimming with excitement. He cradled it in his hands, certain that he had finally acquired the key to happiness. But as he held the flower, its glow began to fade, and a feeling of emptiness gnawed at his soul. In that moment, a soft voice spoke to him. True happiness cannot be bought, for it resides not in possessions, but in the heart. Startled, Ethan looked around, but he was alone. The truth of the traveler's words dawned upon him. He had spent his life chasing after wealth, believing it would bring him joy only to realize that the things he truly valued, the laughter of friends, the beauty of nature, and the simple pleasures of life, could not be purchased. With newfound clarity, Ethan returned to the village, carrying the fading flower with him. The traveler's wisdom had transformed his perspective. He shared his journey and the moral he had learned. That money might bring comfort and convenience. But it couldn't buy the genuine happiness that comes from within. As the villagers listened to Ethan's tale, they were inspired to reevaluate their own pursuits. The story of the mythical garden became a cherished part of their village law. A reminder that while wealth could improve circumstances, it was the richness of the heart that truly mattered. And so, the village continued to thrive, not by seeking endless riches but by nurturing the relationships, experiences, 
and moments that truly made life meaningful. The radiant flower Ethan had brought back remained in the village square as a symbol of the lesson. Learned that the most precious things in life were often the ones money could never buy.